Good evening and uh, thanks for watching another Glen Rainey Talks Chelsea and tonight it was Sheffield United 1, Chelsea 2 um, made hard work of it really um, we dominated the possession I think it ended up at 68% um, to 32 um, but I, I what is it about this club? I've always got me on tender hooks right to the right to the last minute. We never do anything easy, do we? Now, people have had a go at me about my dislike of Antonio Rudiger. It's largely because he always seems to have one, a bit like David Lewis, have one or two moments during the game where his concentration lets me lets him down. Now, I always go back to our old coaches at school, but I was always told that if you're passing back to the goalkeeper, pass it wide of the actual goal itself. That way, if the keeper makes a cock up and misses it, it goes out for a corner, but it doesn't go in, in his net. Mendy had every right to come forward for that. Um, should have been a bit more communication. But what Rudiger was doing, just playing it back, I, I don't know. And yet, he made some great tackles in that game. A couple of great blocks, but you can't afford to be giving goals like that away. Talking of the back four, before I go through the team, um, tonight I was impressed with Christensen. He must have <laughs> seen my last vlog <laughs> I doubt it. Not many people did, but um, he must have. He must. His ears must have been burning because he actually outmuscled Billy Sharp tonight, and I was so pleased to see it. And I thought, you know, maybe he is sticking it up, me. You know, so uh, well done, Christensen. And tonight, I thought Mount was absolutely immense, and there was one little bit um, in the second half. One little bit of skill where he let it run onto him, flicked it over the player and turned and went away with it. I don't know if anyone else noticed it because the commentator didn't mention it. But I thought to myself, if a Brazilian had done that, if that had been Ronaldo or Messi or someone, they'd have been, you know, up in arms how great it was. But no one mentioned it. Um, he took his goal well and, um, and he was just everywhere. And Mount was my personal man of the match. I know they gave it to Werner on, on telly, and I can see why, but I thought Mount was absolutely immense tonight. Uh, Sheffield United, they pressed really, really well. They worked really, really hard. They just do lack that little bit of quality, particularly in front of goal. I like the um, I like Fleck. I thought he was a pain in the neck all night. And um, yeah, he even looks a bit like Robert. Uh, I remember Robert. Oh, the, the times that bloke's shot over from from three feet or or missed from inches out, it's been unbelievable. He, um, but yeah, he's, uh, it's his nephew, I think, and uh, he, he he looks a player. He really does. I was I was impressed with him. So. Right, okay, we had Mendy in goal. And Mendy, I am going to smart save near the end, by the way. Um, couldn't really do much about the uh, the goal. Um, did another Cruyff turn. Did another Cruyff turn in that game. <laughs> in literally two two yards out of <laughs> off of his goal line. He did a Cruyff turn. He, he, he's going to be the end of me. He really is. But tonight, I'm going to give Mendy a 7. Um, on the right hand, we had Reese. Reese got forward well, supportive. And I do like the fact that he's obviously learnt from that game where he just left his man because he was getting back, running with his man, and getting goal side. And for that reason, Reese is going to get a 7.5 for me. Um, Chile on the other side, um, Ben Chilwell, not his most convincing game, um, great ball forward obviously for Werner, uh, who then, who then set up Mount for the first goal, 
but not great defensively. It seemed really weak in the tackle. I don't know if it's because he hasn't played lately or if it's a lack of confidence or what it is. Hopefully it's not a, a lack of bottle. But Chilwell gets a 6.5 from me. So, the central defenders. We had Christensen and Christensen tonight gets a 7.5. I thought he had a really good game. Decisive. Can't think of him making a mistake. Um, Aspie, um, next to James, he um, he done all right. He done okay. Didn't get f- as forward as much, but done his defensive duty as well. And Aspie's going to get a seven from me. And then we've got Rudy, who had an excellent game, apart from two two moments. One right near the end. Where he dived in, no chance of getting the ball, and just got left on his backside. And um, and the other one was, of course, the goal, the, uh, the Sheffield United goal. I just, I just don't understand an international playing it back towards his own goal. I just don't get it. I'd love to discuss it with him, boom, and say what was going through your head. And uh, just don't. I just don't. It, Unless coaching has totally changed, it was always put the ball back wider the goal. So Rudy, he gets a six from me. It was a good performance, but that goal could have cost us dear. And uh, those that watch these blogs know he, he's not my my favourite player. Jorginho, um, good penalty, and um, not bad. A little bit too negative for me again tonight. Little bit pass it sideways or backwards too much again, and also needs to be stronger in the tackle. A couple of times he went for 50 50 balls, and it was like a knife slicing through butter getting round him. He was just, he was just second best all the time. Um, but he took his, he took the penalty well. Um, he did okay. He's going to get a 6.5 for me. Kovacic gets a 7. Some good driving runs. Always making himself available. Um, a shocking shot that, that England could have done with him yesterday when they got beat by Scotland in the rugby. Um, but yeah, good all-round uh, performance. Mason Mount. Gets a 9.5 from me today. I think that's the highest I've ever scored anyone. But he was, I thought he was sublime today. Apart from two dead balls, a corner and a free kick that hit the first man. Um, he'd have been on the line for a 10. But he was just everywhere. Industry, pressed. When he lost the ball, he got back goal side. Always looking to play the ball forward. Trickery, just great finish, everything. So yeah, a 9.5 for Mason Mount. Little Timo Werner, um, obviously another game without a goal, but didn't he do great? He done great to pass it back. I think it was just into into space when he when he hoped a player would be there, and Mount was. And also the penalty, how the referee, how that Kevin Friend didn't give that as a penalty straight away is is beyond me. It just goes to show what quality a referee actually is, because that was the clearest. But I don't know what Graham Souness was on about either. I don't know what Graham Souness was on. About. The goalkeeper took him over. When you're going at that speed, you know, a couple of gloves around your legs brings you over. Simple as that. Clear penalty. Um, Werner, I thought, had a really, really good all-round game tonight and got back and done some defensive work as well. Needs to, like a couple of the others, start working on these 50-50 tackles. But if Mount hadn't been so good, Werner would have got me out of the match and uh, he gets an 8.5. When the subs came on, Callum hudson Doy looked sharp again and I do like the fact that he's defending as well now. It's it makes a big difference to his game. Um, Alonso Tuchel just said he brought him on because of the height because Giroud was coming off, 
Uh, what is it scored? Giroud, did I? Yeah, Giroud done okay. Wasn't sticking to him tonight. Um, just everything he tried just didn't go right. But he was he was battling in there. He was always providing an option. I'm giving Giroud a seven. Sorry about that. I forgot. Sorry about that, Ollie. I forgot you, didn't I? Um, yeah, little Kante come on. He does what Kante does. He, he played... Uh, he played well. He played very well, actually, in the few minutes that he was on, um, both going forward and defensively. Um, and I think that's about it. Onwards and upwards. We um, we've got the FA Cup next. I think it's Thursday night. Um, hopefully, we'll see little Billy Gilmore get some some minutes, and a few of the others that are, are knocking on the door. Maybe Andrew in would be. Nice to see him, um, and hopefully, if Werner's fit by then, we'll uh, see him get a, a go on. That'll be him, hopefully, up and running. So, yeah, not a bad performance um, against a very resolute and a very hard-working Sheffield United side. I, I can't believe they're right down there, to be honest. When I, when I, look, when I watch people like Newcastle play, I just, I just can't believe that Sheffield United are that far down. It just must be a lack of quality in front of goal. Um, I do like Chris Wilder. Wilder. I liked it when he, everyone heard him shout out, get the ball back off him. Uh, so can't be plainer than that. Well, that's it for tonight. Anyway, it's uh, onwards and upwards. Tuchel gets, a, um, gets an eight from me. His in-game management was good. And uh, he's obviously got them fired up. And uh, and long may that continue. Okay, that's all from me, folks. Let me know what you think. I say that's the reason I do these vlogs. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. And uh, if you press the notification button, you'll you'll know when there's a video up. Doing a few other little bits and pieces. Um, my best and worst Chelsea side ever. And uh, hopefully soon we'll have a... Um, a little uh, conversation with an ex-player so the more people I can get watching these vlogs the more we can do okay thanks for your support I appreciate it and uh, speak to you after um, after the cup game up to Chelsea